Welcome to Ditch Outdoor Ministry. Bam! Bam! What's up, man? That's a, that's a four or five right there. That's a beauty, man. We will take that, bugger. We're a preaching, hunting, and fishing YouTube channel. That is a beautiful, for this time of year, that is a killer smallmouth. Thanks for stopping by. Now let's get right into the video. You know, I normally get out fishing early in the season and I'll throw a jerk bait around, uh, but I can't ever resist not trying the yeah. Cinco. Cinco is one of my favorite ways to fish. Oh, you got a little crumb. Yes, thank you. Um, you, you know, but it never works in that cold. I don't know if it's, it's the water temperature or if the fish have some sort of instinct to know that there shouldn't be any worms in the water when it's 50 degrees. I tend to believe that it has something to do with the spawn. I don't think they start hitting sinkos until after they've spawned when they're coming off the beds and they got that feed bag on. I'm, I think we're there. I think we're there. Uh, I'm gonna go out today and I'm only gonna throw a sinko. Um, and, and I'm gonna see if I can uh, uh, run into something. And I'm gonna go towards structure. You know, up to this point, they've been out kind of out on flats in the middle of nowhere. You can catch them just about anywhere. But now I think they're gonna start clinging a little bit more to structure. You know, like if this was a rock. They're, they're not gonna be out in the middle of the lawn here just kind of hanging out. They're gonna kind of tend to stay around this 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 rock right here. So I'm going to be going out today with a Cinco and I want to see if it's go time yet. If you know, this kind of tells me when they start hitting this that it's, you know, the summer fishing is kicking in. It's go time. That's that's my favorite favorite way to fish. So I'm going to be looking for uh, isolated rock. I'm going to throw a Cinco around there and see if they'll hit it. And then I'll know that the game is on. So Let's see what happens. Bam! Yeah, there, there's like three or four. Three or four sitting on this rock. But this is the big dog. This is the, this is the daddy. Hey, Mello, that's it, that's it, that's it. Come here. Come here. Come here. No. 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 Oh, God. Good Lord Almighty. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh, you're being a pain. Hey, man. <laughs> I had lost that one that I had lost where my, where my line broke off. It's in his throat. This is the same fish. Here's my other one. There's my line that broke off, man. That's a beauty right there, too. Look, how often does that happen? Usually once you catch a fish, they won't bite again. There's my line. There's my same bait. <laughs> that was in the fish, in, that, in the throat of that fish. I had just hooked up on him, 
three minutes ago and he bit again, man. Same. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That, that, that was awesome. So I'm going to. So I pulled the worm out of that fish's throat. And I'm going to use reuse that worm. And I'm gonna go back and try to catch his buddies. See how see if this is the dumbest bunch of fish in the world. That guy was pretty dumb. Figuring his buddies probably aren't much smarter, you know. That's usually the way it works, right? The people we hang out with are, are usually a lot like us. See what we find in this guy. You know, we might find uh, we might find a coin, right? Isn't that how? Isn't there a story about that? Uh, all right, all right, guy. This is just a two pounder, a little over two pounder. Oh, there we go. He's not too shabby. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, let me get him in. Holy moly. Mm, yeah, he's got her. He's got her. Oh, oh God. Yeah, oh God. I've been working on this fish for a while. Been hiding behind this rock. He's seen the boat. It's been acting like a tard. Oh man, I need to land him. Oh God, oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, oh man, woo-wee. Yeah, he choked it, he choked it. <laughs> he got sick of it, he got sick and tired of it. He's a nice one. See? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was fun, man. If you're somebody who's thinking about going to church or going back to church, I'd like to give you a couple of things to look for. First of all, uh, church is not church. Not all churches are the same. The message should be the same, but the procedures and stuff can be different. So if you end up going to a church and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I just hate it. I just hate it, it's boring. Well, just go to another church. 
church is not being polite and listening to nice stories and getting dressed up and having a donut. You know, we're coming to church. You want to make sure you find a church that preaches the Bible. You know, and, and a church that explains the things of God deeply. You know, that's why we're coming to church is to learn about Him and, and, and to have an experience with Him. It's not about um, following rituals. You know, you want to feel something at church. You want to feel at home. You know, there's a guy that comes to church here. He's been here a lot longer than I have. Uh, but the first time he walked in this door, his, his wife dragged him here. He didn't want to be here. And what he says is that he sat down in the chair. And the first thing that came to mind was like, wow, these are some really comfortable chairs. You know, and, and one of my first times coming to church, I remember during worship, I felt little tingles going up my spine and on the top of my head. You see, I, I felt something. I felt something. You know, I was an established churchgoer and my family relocated to another state. So we, we moved and we got settled in and then the search began. And I, I knew what I was looking for in a church because I had been around the horn a little bit, you know? So I started asking Christians that I knew in this new town that I was in, um, if they had any suggestions of some good churches. And then I started doing some research on the internet and stuff on my own. And I came up with about five churches to go visit. And one by one, I hit them. Well, we ended up hitting this one church and uh, we pulled into the parking lot and just as my, my family and I were getting out of the car, um, these two guys come walking up from the church and come to find out they were the greeters. Well, they come right up there, come right up to us before, hardly before we got out of our car and started asking us, um, who are you? Where are you from? What do you do for a job? Uh, they wanted to know everybody's names. They wanted to know all the kids' names and how old they were, what school they went to. You know, just, just started in with all the questions. You know, and the first thing that came to my mind was like, wait a minute here, did I sign up for some kind of, you know, lifelong membership to something that I'm unaware of just by pulling in the parking lot? You know, to be perfectly honest, I wasn't comfortable giving strangers my personal information and the names of all my kids. All I wanted to do was come and check out the church. You see, step number one for me is to come and to see how the service is run, see the procedure, maybe take a look at the bulletin, you know. And I like to take a look at the uh, worship and see if, uh, how I like that. And then lastly, I want to be able to look at the pastor and listen to him and see if he's speaking my language and see if, what, how I feel on that. And if, if all of that is a yes, well then I move on to step number two. You know, step two for me is to just return to the church. And this is where I'm going to try to meet a couple people. And I'm going to see if people recognize me and realize that I've been there before or if they remember my name. You know, and you don't need to work overtime to try to convince me that this is the church for me, or you know, you don't need to change the service to try to make me feel welcome because if I'm in the right spot, the Holy Spirit's gonna let me know. I had him right in the top of the mouth, <laughs> just barely in the lip, the top lip there. You know. that, that's just where you want to catch him. You, you don't want him to choke it. Oh my god! 